Nobody likes getting sick, and some people will take measures to avoid illness and germs. But what about those who have extreme fears of disease and germs? Pathophobia is the fear of disease, and mysophobia is the fear of dirt and germs. It is also known by a range of other terms. A woman who had mysophobia suffered from severe washing compulsions. She washed her hands a hundred times a day, and fearing contact with germs, she no longer left her house. She also did not let her husband touch the children, fearing that he would infest them with germs. This was debilitating as she was unable to do any housework, and stayed in bed all day. Some well-known people who suffer from mysophobia include Howard Stern, Howie Mandel, and Megan Fox. Howard Hughes, Nikola Tesla, and Saddam Hussein also had mysophobia. Algophobia is the fear of pain. In one case, a man was paranoid about any pain, and suffered from a low pain threshold. As a child, his mother continually complained of pain in almost every part of her body. He eventually became convinced that any pain is intolerable, and his fear and caution eventually became a phobia. The mere thought of pain attacking him would induce panic attacks. He gave up sport, exercise, and even slept downstairs because he was afraid he would hurt himself going down the stairs. Another common medical-related fear is hemophobia, the fear of blood. Kristen Wiig once said, I'd make a terrible surgeon. The fear of blood? Very high on my list. Being afraid of disease and germs or pain is understandable. So people and places that help people overcome illness and pain must be great, right? Not for everybody. Nosocomophobia is the fear of hospitals. U.S. President Richard Nixon suffered from it. He once remarked, if I go to a hospital, I'm fairly sure I won't come out of it alive. Iatrophobia is the fear of doctors. For one woman, anxiety about doctors wasn't a problem until she experienced a debilitating illness. She underwent a barrage of treatments and multiple hospitalizations for two and a half years. By then, she had developed a full-blown fear of doctors and healthcare facilities. Along the same lines, the fear of dentists is called phobia. Denophobia can be divided into numerous elements, including the dentist himself, pain from dental work, numbness or gagging from having the mouth numbed, the sounds and smells of the dentist office, and needles that are used to numb the mouth. Most people with denophobia fear more than one of these elements, and those with severe denophobia may fear all or most of these elements. Another common medical fear is the fear of needles, and there are many terms that are associated with this. Achmophobia is the fear of needles or pointed objects. These could include pencils, pens, needles, pens, and scissors. People who have bellinophobia fear pins and needles specifically. To differentiate, trypanophobia is the fear of medical procedures involving injections or hypodermic needles. In one case, a skin cancer patient who needed minor surgery avoided getting the skin cancer removed because of bellinophobia. This resulted in the skin cancer doubling in size. Do you have a medical-related phobia? Comment below and share your experiences. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.